Oh shit, what's up? It's me, Buck Fame, City Cinderella's Crib, so come on in. You already know what the fuck going on as soon as you walk in. So you already know what the fuck going on. As soon as you walk in, you see the Hall of Fame. Hello, it's all about me as you enter my I added the chandelier. It was not included in the Pussy, you know, we can fucking make it real party in here. You know we live for that. This is my bathroom right here. Super cute. Super chill. So yeah, I know what you guys are gonna fucking say. Oh my god, how many photos can I have? The um, the limit just does not exist. I don't know. I'm really just only give a fuck about myself, and it's literally me as well. You walk in, and it's like a little get naked up in here. I had to snatch the camera from the cameraman because I felt like he was trying me. You guys caught me so fucking last. Like I would just chill in my house, like. I know, so fabulous. I know, I get it. So shit, you guys caught me just chilling on a regular fucking day. Like I said, as soon as you walk in, it's giving like Hall of Fame vibe. We just show you the bathroom. Get into my little custom piece my friend made for me. As you can see, a bimbo at the motherfucking top, fuck theme at the bottom. Cause shit, you already know. Definitely need the party lights. Mirror right here. I got it at fucking Z Gallery. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm like a bruja or something like that. But bitch, I always put a mirror right by that door so that bad fucking schoolboy or whatever the fuck bounces the fuck out. Cause bitch, and nothing but good vibes over here. So then we get to like the fucking kitchen. There's... Can you see me? Is it too dark, cameraman? Not at all. Okay, cool. So right here, Mark pictures and me. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Spain. Um, honestly, I'm never in the kitchen. Literally, all I really ever really eat is like, oh, it's not bad. Like, so I don't really use the kitchen like that. But I mean, when my family comes around and stuff like that, they like to come see me. And you know, I like to put little fridge magnets right here of like places that I gone. I lost a couple, but honestly, like, I've been traveling so much, I'm gonna collect them again. Pictures of me. We're in the Hall of Fame. I hope you guys remember that. And I know you guys are probably like, damn bitch, you're so obsessed with yourself. Well, that bitch, look at me. Bomb as fuck. Living room area, down. A shot can fucking see. I do not do roommates. Come over here. This is my baby Lola down. She hates fucking people. Oh, please. That is my little fucking personal me book, so I name it literally the Hall of Fame. Bitch, cause you already know, bitch. I'm a singing bitch. This is gonna be the book passed down to the children. You already know. Baddie, baddie, shot at clock. And, you know, definitely had to get the Mean Girls cover right here. Cause, hello. Literally me. Shit, I'm here at my house. You know, I'm looking too crazy. Lola was a fucking slut and had a fucking kid. I don't know with who the fuck. I don't know what fucking trick she ended up fucking with because it wasn't mine. Yeah, bad bitch. Cinderella Cribs was time in episode number one. We're gonna see what next bitch gonna do with City. Ah, City Cinderella Cribs. I wanna see what next body gonna show out their motherfucking curve out here. So these lights right here are so fucking cool. They fucking change all types of fucking colors, fucking images, and all types of fucking shit. I don't know, gives me AI alien shit. It's hella cool though. You know, I had to have my little duffel right here, you know, because I'm a city girl, bitch. I'm ready to hit the town. I'm ready to go, baby, bitch. I got my motherfucking bitch, my duffel bag. Stacks is not motherfucker down. Uh, this is the bedroom, you know, where the magic happens, where the motherfucking big coins happen, where the wallet, shot collars, like to come around and lash around with me, the fucking song. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like, I'm a bad bitch. So as you can see, I have like, I used to have a king size bed, but honestly, it was just too fucking big. I couldn't fucking do shit. Like, well, I did a lot of shit. But it was just like too much fucking space. So I got into like a queen size bed, as you can see. More pictures than me, I mean. Hello, sorry about it, can't help it. I'm gonna enjoy my little Starbucks. You already know, bitch, get my phone. I'm a bad. Oh my God, who the fuck is that on the TV? Oh my fucking god, it's fucking me. For anyone I want to be like, oh my god, I just be like, like, bitch. 
Should I tell you what fucking floor I'm on or what? Bitch, why not? Cause it's a motherfucking lucky ass number. Bitch, I'm a motherfucking 444. That's all y'all hoes gonna get. Cause I don't need motherfucking crazy ass stalkers fucking coming at me. My fucking body fucking hairs fucking stuck at me. Well, fame, what's a typical day look like for you? Uh, a typical day for me, honestly. I glam every day because if you don't look good, you know, if you feel you feel good or some shit like that, I don't know, but both. So I'll wake up, I'll glam, I'll come out here and smoke, I'll get into the city, think about, about how successful I am and shit like that. City girl Cinderella crib was happening. Any people who have influenced you, or were you always this successful? Honestly, honestly, the people around me, the people that I surround myself with, honestly, growing up, I met a lot of people and I learned a lot of. Shout out to my fucking mother, Brianna. What's kind of baby? She definitely is the one that put me the fuck together, gave me the key to the streets, and this is where I'm at now. I've always been successful because if I was already a baby doctor and I were like sickening ass bitches. It's, you know, if you don't got it in you, different strokes for different folks is all I can say. This blast with success. So it's like I'm very thankful for where I'm at now, especially from coming from like Mexico and just really coming from the bottom to the top. Like, it definitely keeps me grounded since so like 95% of the time my parents and my family. But I still go city going crazy when I go out here like, ah, like bitch, I'm bitch, I'm like, what? I'm gonna show you guys my anemones because you know what? I'm not only cooped up in this fucking apartment all fucking day when I look hated hey, this fucking good, you know? Lala, I'll be right back. So, you already have a million dollar photo shoot at a later. Honey, I used up all my anemones. Come on. So, I have literally a library if you guys remember my main girl photo shoot that I did there. They have a business center. I don't never really be there, you know. They got daddies over here playing at pool. It's so cute over here. Game room, sauna, all that, lockers, both, five. Oh my god. I love the fucking lots of bitch. 24 7, 7 days a week, all the time. Sorry, my daughter is just so annoying. She just loves to try. We'll go outside, but it's closed right now. Can't really see it. That's like my tour. Hope you guys like it. Like I said, city Cinderella. Go hard and get play first. I don't know, but well, you know what the fuck I need. Fucking trick. I had fun with you guys or whatever, but shit, gotta go with the money calling. That was City Cinderella Cribs. Y'all gotta go home. Y'all gotta get the fuck up out of here. Bye, bitch.